Hey everyone. Welcome to beautiful Point Reyes National Seashore. This is a protected wilderness area about an hour north of San Francisco. It's this narrow little point of land that goes out into one of the windiest and foggiest areas in the country. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's got a bunch of diverse landscapes. It's got marshes and estuaries craggy cliff sides. It's surrounded by water and a whole bunch of life and natural habitat. We'll show you what you can get up to in one day here at Point Reyes. Although there's so much stuff, we totally missed a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you could spend an entire week here, but we only have one day. So come along with us while we check it out. Let's go. Hi, I'm Avi. And I'm V. Join us in our explorations of the central coast of California. And our adventures beyond. into Point Reyes National Seashore, one of the first landmarks that you'll see before you even get to the park is this shipwreck. It's very famous. It's been here for decades, obviously. It's over 100 years old. One thing that a lot of people don't know about it is it's not actually a shipwreck per se. It's just an old boat that got beached and needed repairs and the owner never fixed it. And it just sat here and deteriorated over time and now it's become this picturesque thing that everybody loves that you see behind us. Unfortunately, this is also one example of the casualty of people taking social media just a little bit too far due to two Instagrammers using some steel wool and lighting it on fire. They accidentally burned half of this boat. I mean, it wasn't meant to last forever, but... It it's a, it's quickened a, its deterioration. Yeah, it's a shadow of its former self, yeah. but it still looks good from this side. Photographers still love it. A lot of people come here and take selfies and pictures before they head into the park. It's just interesting. You can still see pieces of its mechanical. I don't even know exactly what I'm looking at. This looks like some kind of drivetrain to me. It's interesting. Yeah, it really also kind of reflects like the stillness of the area too. It's very quiet out here and the water is very quiet there's no real sound of waves out here and then there's this kind of like derelict ship I don't even quite have the words to describe it you see pictures of this on Instagram all the time I always thought it was much more remote than it actually is it's literally what would you say 50 steps from the parking lot it's like right off the road you park right back there by that fence and just walk down this path you can see it from the road I didn't expect that. I thought it was much more removed. I had read that access to it was possibly even crossing trespass land and that there might be obstacles and things like that, which totally proved to not be the case. I mean, at high tide, you might not be able to walk all the way to it. I could see this becoming marshy, but yeah, that's, that's not, it, yeah. yeah. This is a hole for people who have to peep. Here we are at Drake's Estero. This is Schooner Bay which is just one little finger of Drake's Estero, which is a big estuary just to the south of Point Reyes. This is where Francis Drake was alleged to have touched down in the 1500s when uh, he landed on the west coast. It's a gorgeous place. Well, the landscape is so cool. We're here on a Friday in August, and it just so happens we are the only ones here. We have this place all to ourselves. It's so peaceful and amazing. Yeah, and I think we've already found our very next kayak destination. Yeah, Blue Waters Kayak does tours through here. So we're planning a trip for doing that. Probably in the spring? Maybe in the spring. Yeah, maybe in the spring. But whether you're on a kayak or you're in a car, this is definitely worth coming to check out. It's just beautiful. Even on a foggy day like today. So this whole area, the Point Reyes, Sonoma area, is known for its oysters. This whole beach literally is covered in oyster shells the whole way from one end to the other. Definitely uh, grow around here. <laughs> grow and get consumed and die around here. That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, these shells are cool too. They're really large and some are really colorful, like purple and green and water's gently lapping. It's a really peaceful place. Yeah. Well, here we are at the Cypress Tree Tunnel. This was our next stop of the day. It's basically just a road with cypress trees on either side that grow up over it. It's really pretty and beautiful, and a lot of people come here as well to take pictures. Yeah, it's obviously really popular on Instagram. And yep. It is really cool to be here. Yeah, let's go check it out. Come along with us. You know what I'm kind of being struck by a little bit? 
What's that? Instagram is not real life. We knew this. All the pictures you see of this place, once again, show it as being very secluded, empty, no one here. It's always just like one person right in the middle. But when you come here, there's like 15 people right off the side of the road, right past a gate with the house at the end. <laughs> it's funny. It's not what I had pictured. It's still cool. Wonders of Photoshop. Right. <laughs> I wonder if everybody else here is thinking, all right, everybody else, leave. Get out of the way, yeah. right? <laughs> we should all just like, hey, you want to take turns? Yeah, right. We'll all hide like little gnomes behind the trees. <laughs> Switch. <laughs> yeah, we'll take, hold tickets. <laughs> Group three, emerge. Exactly. Here we are at the end, and I guess we're going to find out what this building is. It kind of looks like a house, but I'm sure it's not. It's a mausoleum. Oh, it's some kind of park building. <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing that cool. It's like offices. It kind of looks disused, actually. Yeah. It's empty. The California Exotic Plant Management Team Shop. Interesting. Not sure if all those words belong in a sentence. Can you show them? California Exotic Plant Management Team Shop. Shouldn't there be like a comma or a, an article? <laughs> Some kind of like syntactical thing. Yeah, it's totally boarded up. Yeah. So that's what's at the end of the tunnel of the cypresses. Let's head back. And here, I think our next stop will be the lighthouse. If you've been enjoying this video so far, go ahead and give it a like. And why don't you take a minute to subscribe to our channel while you're at it? We'd really appreciate it. The historic lighthouse at Point Reyes is probably the most well-known landmark in the entire park. When you get here, you're gonna park down at the parking lot, and then you have to walk about a half mile to get to the lighthouse visitor center, and then from there, it's 313 steps down to the lighthouse. 313 stairs. That's a lot. This is amazing. I'm gonna try to do it. So when you're visiting here, you kind of want to give yourself ample time to go up and down the enormous staircase and still be able to check out the lighthouse itself at your leisure. So give yourself a good 20 minutes to half hour each direction. It's very strenuous, even going down. Veronica and I are both in pretty good shape and it still kicked our butts. This area We kind of let time get away from us and didn't actually get here until right before they were closing, so we had to rush down and then turn around and rush right back up. It took us about 12 minutes, I think. It was, it was hard. Definitely want to bring some water <laughs> when you make that journey. At their prompt, they kick you out right at 4, so I got down there at 3.59 and I had to turn around <laughs> and come right back up there so they don't, they don't uh, mess around. But it's gorgeous, and this cool air at the top, oh, it's delicious. Oh. Yeah, I'm glad we made it down. Um, yeah. Even though our stay was brief. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually, uh, AM channel, uh, radio station 1610. Tune into radio station 1610. That's how we heard about it. We were somewhere else, and we're like, oh my god, it's going to close. And we drove over here all quick. It's just in, just in time. So in hindsight, the lighthouse closes at 4, and it takes a little while just to drive out here. So I would say, don't do what we did and be late and just get to the lighthouse right when it closes. Drive all the way out to the lighthouse first and then work your way back so you have plenty of time. It's tough because it's so beautiful and you're driving through and you wanna stop when you see all these things for the first time. But it also gets foggier later in the afternoon. So if you come here earlier in the day, you'll get clearer views. Also parking is limited. So be aware of that there's some extra parking spots along the way, which is where we ended up parking. But don't plan on having an empty spot we're actually coming up on a bridge that you can see both sides of the bay from the same vista point. That's one cool thing about this point is it's very narrow and there's water on both sides and from multiple places you can see that. Well, this is the end of the video. That was one day in Point Reyes National Seashore. We really do appreciate your coming along with us. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, show us by giving it a like, commenting down below, 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you ring the bell, you'll get notified when we upload our next video. Make sure to join us for our next series, where we take you to Los Cabos, Mexico. We explore the towns of San Jose del Cabo and Cabo San Lucas, and show you the differences between the two. We eat some delicious local seafood, check out the popular and touristy marina, and enjoy the area's world-famous beautiful beaches, where we take a boat ride out to the instantly recognizable landmark El Arco at Land's End. Finally, we'll check out the local nightlife and see if Los Cabos lives up to all the hype. Thanks so much for joining us today. We hope you had a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao! Bye!